the years, I've collected so much equipment. So we are continuing to get rid of everything. Hundreds and thousands of dollars of photo and video equipment continues to go out the door today. Fun fact, if you wear an easy rig while riding a boosted scooter, you don't need a kickstand. Another coffee montage? You're damn right. It's better than tea, come on. Okay, so the plan is to, I don't there's really no plan. It's just to get rid of as much as possible. The cage is packed with stuff. So Vito's gonna help clean everything. Surprise! I was just here for coffee and now this, so. But happy to help, seriously, let's do this. There's a reason this is the third video. The other two, no problem. Hurt a little bit, this one? Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna really hurt. I don't even want to do this. There are just drawers of batteries and chargers and I don't even know what any of these plugs are. I think there's action cams inside here. GoPro, Insta3. This might be like the ones that I wanted to keep. More action cam stuff. I don't even know if I've ever seen this. Nerf guns. <laughs> stuff, lights. Rip stuff, a million cable audio, pelicans filled with mm. all sorts of more. stuff. Eight more, more. action cams, more. M100 right here, G7X here, cloud clip, HD monitor, navigator, hard drive, slide, red stuff, steady cam, no. easy rigs. What do you want me to do? <laughs> you just tore everything up. I have no idea what I'm doing. Just fill these hands, I'll move them. So let's clear a couple things up. There was a lot of people <laughs> that legitimately thought I'm going nuts or I'm unhappy or there's there's definitely some underlying issues there. This guy's, you know, he's drinking tea, he's getting rid of stuff. Something's wrong, I'm worried. I assure you, everything's fine. I'm really enjoying the process of getting rid of things. I don't know where to start. That's part of the that's part of the issue here. Is I come in here to grab things legitimately, don't know where they are, and then curse the place and then close the door and, and leave. And I just either like make a new plan or and then I don't come back in here until I try this again. No, this is empty. I think I, I don't keep any oh, boxes uh, hold, anymore. Hold on. What's that? This is not even out yet. How did you? I'm just like you. I'm another hobbyist, professional, enthusiast, someone that likes cameras and wants to do productions. So I would buy equipment, hoard equipment. I would I would get as much as I could in case I needed to do any type of project of any scope. I think we just empty everything into one. Yep. And, then, and then eventually I'll just start going through one of them. 100%. Everything from this one and just pile it in here. All right. Keep it. So we've compiled a few larger items from the cage that we're gonna decide now if I am keeping or getting rid of. Vito's collected all of these things for us. I just grabbed the biggest things because I just like, you need room. Yeah. This is anxiety, can't <laughs> breathe. Yeah. First off, this massive thing that says Rhino. When was the last time you used this, man? Honestly. Uh, it was that, you remember that video I did with Schiffer, which was a shot for shot? Yeah, yeah. Go, it goes. Yeah. You good? Yeah. All right, we're gonna move that. Bandage. It goes, it's gone. Wheel this over with it. You okay? <sighs> this sucks. It's, fine, <laughs> it's good, like it's, no, it's a fun process, but it like it, I don't know, it's just, like I'm a nostalgic guy. Looks like a couple of original aperture lights, 120D. I'm gonna move out all the aperture lights. Good, I like the flow. Yeah, let's like let's, it, let's yeah. keep this let's going. Keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the purge, Matt Diabella would be so proud of me. 
Oh, okay. I'll give you the nucleus. When is the last time this was used? I want to point out that looks like a rich mahogany. So I think it's been a while. <laughs> it was when we shot the mountains won't remember me. I haven't opened it in like two years, so it's gone. <laughs> I have too many things that have accumulated over these years of being a filmmaker and a YouTuber and that's great and I'm pumped and very blessed and happy that this happened. It's time for this stuff to move on and find a new home. That's all. That's your easy rig. I have never taken this out of the package. Never before used. I went right to a ready rig like two days after I bought this. So I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> <laughs> Moby Pro. I bought this case separately so it fit like all the batteries and everything. The last time I used this was when Maddie and I went to Iceland. Sorry. This big gimbal. So I've used this twice in the last few months. The Hyundai Santa shoot and then the DJI shoot. I've probably had it for two years and I've used it three times in two years. That was a lot of work. <laughs> I feel like I've probably made more of a mess than, uh, than when I started this and had this idea several weeks ago. This place is a disaster right now. It gets worse before it gets better. It's always super stressful and then suddenly it all becomes clear and I'm, I'm really hoping <laughs> that happens. And, but I feel good about it. I feel good about it and I feel good about what we chose to keep in the cage and it's a massive improvement and I already feel Lighter. Let's just run upstairs real quick. I need to give you back. I need to give you back the the thing. Good stuff upstairs. Are you ready? Sure. <laughs> Open it. Oh, these are apparently going to be maybe even harder to get than the all black. Entered a raffle. Did you? Just the other night. Looks like I won. <laughs> <laughs> We're twinsies. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Let me see. The best part of this. Is that's actually for you because I got oh, three. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Thanks, I got man. three! <laughs> you got hey, double. This is not sponsored, by the way, by G-Shock. But they did send us these watches to give to my, my friends and crew, so thank you, G-Shock. Very much appreciated. And I think something that people forget, and I actually did see it in the comments of the last video, you can still rent equipment and bill those costs to your client. I don't need to own a whole set of Cinema Primes. If I need them, I can go rent them. And the extra bonus there is when you're renting, you're always going to get the latest and greatest equipment. You don't get trapped into the, I just bought this camera and two weeks later, it's replaced with a better sensor and, and more resolution, 8K, 12K, 100K. I have been all over the map, so I figured that I could share that expertise with you. This stresses me out, man. It stresses me out, and I, I would rather work on story and directing and pay someone else to be stressed out hauling the gear. I've done this, and I've had fun doing it, and I just think I now want to do the other part of the storytelling. I still want to shoot with smaller cameras and with more handheld stuff and BTS and vlogs and I'm never gonna stop using a camera but I think as far as like these types of things and everything we're getting rid of, I just, that's not really me as a filmmaker anymore. That's kind of the end of episode three discussion of The Purge, let's call it. Not that scary movie where everyone goes nuts but getting Peter getting rid of things. Maybe I need to call Matt Diavella. Bye. Uh oh, I'm coming back for a second just to tell you. Don't, please, please don't email me that you wanna buy cameras or gear. When I am ready to sell the things that I want to sell and give away the rest and those, those types of things, I will make it very clear on where to go and how to do those things. If you email me, I am deleting it immediately and I will never sell you a camera. So, please don't. Okay, have a great day.